Okay. Hi. Usually I am behind the camera, and today I felt like testing the weapon. This is the weapon. Matthew will explain it later. I will. Yes, you will. Um, they didn't have coconuts at the store, so we are using melons and a butternut squash. So, enjoy. Alright. Uneventful. Yeah. Sure, go for it. <laughs> oh, you're splattering. You're splattering. <laughs> oh, you're splattering. You're splattering. <laughs> oh. This is fun. Do I understand? You understand what? Why I like to do it every week? Yes. Oh. Okay, uh, you're going a little on a rampage here. <laughs> I'm having fun! Okay. <laughs> you don't understand! Fun! Okay. <laughs> when we see you on Fox News someday, we'll just say <laughs> she was having fun with that chainsaw and those people. It's the sharp, scary thing that I made last week. I decided to test it. Lindsay decided that I should test it. And it's good because it doesn't seem that functional to me because at least as a regular knife. As a fighting knife, it'd be great for cutting and slashing throats and stuff like that. But since it doesn't have an outward, I don't know, a uh, convex cutting edge, it doesn't really work that well for cutting anything like meat or, unless of course it's still attached to the person, then it would work. So, I'm just going to test it. Not well, where I intended dead that. yet. But, oh, it's dead. No, nope, kill it, throw it away. You sound like a psychic sometimes. Just sometimes. And we have a special neck simulator. Yes. Now, that last one kind of is, is as if you were slashing someone's gut, which, uh, if that works correctly. A coconut works for the skull, but since we couldn't find any today, um, we couldn't use that. So this simulates a neck. That last one was a got so this should do the trick. And it's a very clean a very cut. Clean cut. Fruit Ninja Apocalypse Edition. Go get the other piece. Why well, it's just a small Okay, he's one. gonna hit it again. Again, very clean cut. Very useful for decapitating, I guess. Would it, do you think, go through the spinal column? I think so. If you got enough momentum, and definitely if you were able to hit the spinal column with this... Point? Not with the point, but right after the point, or right before the point, because then it kind of hooks and cuts on that. If you did it up here, it might break the tip. And this one was just made out of mild steel, because I wanted to see how well I liked it. 